recently had the pleasure of meeting Peter Duffy, a British 94-year-old who's lived in Canada since 1980, who also served this country as a World War II pilot. Peter's British pals, who live just 500 metres away in the US, over, over the border in the US, get full state pension. However, Peter only gets £46.90 a week living in Canada. Can my right honourable friend, on this day, Commonwealth Day, tell Peter and me, because I want to hear the answer, when Her Majesty's Government intend to respond to the Canadian Government's request for a reciprocal social security agreement? Well, thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank my Honourable Friend for that answer. And uh, perhaps if the Honourable Member for Glasgow East hadn't tr tried to intervene on me, uh, then uh, I could have given the fuller answer, which I intend to now. Now, it is my intention that uh, we will respond as a department to the uh, Canadian Embassy uh, on this matter. He will be aware of the fact that um, UK state pensions are being payable worldwide. Uh, there is often a reciprocal arrangement in place, whether, and there's a legal requirement to do so. Now, what's been happening for the last 70 years is that uh, it's not been the policy to initiate new agreements. However, I do understand the points that he and other members in this House have made in their representations, uh, and we will continue to consider this carefully. Let's go to 11.